it arrived. My incubator is here. First thing I learned, oh, I was glad I was careful. The styrofoam encasing that came. If you get one of these things, <laughs> I thought about just busting it up to get this out. But I thought, well, I could just lift it up out of there easy. You're supposed to keep this. You set this in it. And um, it comes, well, that's the bottom part of the incubator. See, there's tracks in there that you, you're going to be putting the rollers on. And this is the top, uh, underneath side of the top. It's going to have a little candle lighter. You can check your eggs, see if they're viable. And you can adjust your heat and, and the turning, I guess. But it's all factory set. It came in a prime box. Ordered it from Amazon. This scared me when I first... Pulled this out. <laughs> Made in China. Anyway, big box and then a little box if it's half. That's the size of the incubator. Okay. That's the top. I'm glad that I watched a few videos on this because it comes. Sometimes it comes with instructions and sometimes it don't. And these instructions just tell you about how you can change your heat and your temperature and stuff. It doesn't have the, my book doesn't have the chart in there. It tells you what to do with which kind of eggs. But I got it off of another video I'd watch, so I know what to do. And this is the floor that goes in underneath the rollers and above the water. And uh, pretty big holes for little tiny feet, so everybody's putting dice mats over that. Um, it comes with the, <laughs> do you know I was going to get this? It's a candle, candle light to candle eggs with. Comes with a battery already. It's like a little flashlight so you can candle your eggs, which that's a plus. I didn't know I was getting that. It came with not one, but two bottles. Um, Squirt bottles and uh, spray tops so that you can fill the water, which they don't have any instructions to tell you this. But you see these two little holes down here? That's where you put the water in for the humidifying because they need, they need humidity for eggs. And here's the rollers. Everything's pretty basic. And this is a control box that you can just plug in to your regular plug-in. And then if you want to hook it to a DC motor, or not motor, battery, like a 12 volt or something, this is for that. Which That's another little plus for those who aren't hooked to the grid. Anyway, um... Other than not getting the charts, the stupid little tips are pretty basic. Yeah, use breeding eggs. Duh. Um, everything's got set up to the factory defaults, so you don't really have to mess with the temperatures unless you want, or if it's for different eggs, which you wouldn't know that without the chart. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm going to be raising my own little baby chicks, and... Uh, Hopefully I get some. We'll see. I've saved back quite a few eggs from my handy hen hens. I, uh, oh, I don't think I better try to lift that, but my, my favorite ones, of course, are the little baby blue ones. And they come from my Easter eggers. I got some green ones, too, but. So I'll let you know how it goes. On my incubating uh, little kit here. I'll also let the mamas raise their own too when they start being broody. But I haven't got any broody hens yet. This will be their first year. So, y'all take care and uh, 
I hope I gave you a little heads up if you're going to order one of these. It was like $62 off of Amazon. Don't don't break the star from encasing that it comes in. You're going to need it because that's the stand it sits in. They don't tell you that. And that's it.